Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope everything is going well with you and your families this beautiful morning. It's gorgeous outside, uh, and I'm going to get in it, but I decided I wanted to do the first part of this video that I'm going to upload today. I would like to do it inside. Yeah, I want to be like up close and personal with you today, just for the beginning of this video. So I have been getting a couple of comments on my channel about uh, some things I'm planting, right? So I want to address that in this video. Yes, I do. Yes. So we're going to take a page from my life story. Yeah, we're going to do that today. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my zone nine garden. Yay. <laughs> Right, guys so today I want to talk to you all about just some things that's been happening on my channel right uh, just some comments I'm be, I've been getting and and no I'm not listen I'm not offended um, no but I do want to address it I do so the first thing I want to talk to you all about is when I was a kid growing up here in New Orleans what Yes, I was raised in New Orleans, in the Holly Grove area, in a Carrollton, 12 Ward, mm -hmm. 13 Ward. That's all in that area. That's where I was. Audubon Park was like my backyard for many years. Loved it. Okay, that's that. All right. But as I was growing up as a kid, uh, there was so much, so much. Uh, the garden played a huge role in... Um, not, you know, like you don't take off for a, a season. It, you just don't take off for a season because this is how we ate every day from a garden. This is how we ate. But there were some special things that was going on behind the scenes. So one thing was not only here in the state of Louisiana, but in the state of Mississippi and also in Southern Texas, I don't know about other parts of Texas or other parts of other parts in you know, other states, but I do know for sure Louisiana, Mississippi, and Southern Texas, they all have this. And that is vegetables that grows wild. Yeah, they grow wild. And many people consume them. I and my family is one of them. So I want to give you just a couple of names of some vegetables that grow wild here in the, these three states that I just spoke of. One thing you can find here is mulberry trees. Mulberry trees are everywhere. They are big and they're beautiful and they are full of berries. And I'm talking big berries. And now they don't need nobody to give them no MPK. Nope. They take care of themselves. Now, for many um, seasons, I have shared a fig tree with you all that a friend of mine have in her yard. No one does nothing for this tree. Nothing. Not everything she get, she get it from God and herself. Right? She take care of herself. And she produces the biggest... Here, there's some of her figs right there. I have some videos of me harvesting figs from that tree. And matter of fact, my first air lay was from that tree. Yeah. So let me just tell you more. Of course, you, you have heard many people talk of pokeweed. Now, my house, we didn't eat it, but it grew. I knew what it was, but we didn't eat it. All right. I'm looking at some notes, guys. I'm looking at some notes. Also, melatons. Now, my mother used to tell me when they were in season, Linda, go out and get me about 
six melatons. Now, here in New Orleans, we call them melatons. In your area, you probably call them chayotes, but that's what they are. They grew wild in the woods. Yes, they grew wild in the woods. Big, healthy, beautiful melatons. <laughs> yeah. So, another thing grew wild here. Mint grew wild in ditches and close to bayous. Mint. Yes, mint. Also, would you believe white potatoes? White potatoes grows wild in ditches by ponds and 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 canals. Potatoes. I knew the foliage of the white potato. Yes. So when mom said, Linda, I need some of those potatoes, I went to the ditch. I went to the ponds. I went to the canals. And there they were. Did I plant them? Nope. I did not plant them. No. They grow wild. There is another vegetable that grows wild here. Onions. Onions grows wild in these states. And matter of fact, I have patches of these wild onions in my garden. There it is, right there. Now this is right next to my weeping willow stump. <laughs> yeah, and that is wild onion, as well as wild garlic. They grow here all on their own. Need no help from anybody. Yeah, they do. So. I told you all that to say this, right? So I planted my potatoes and somebody said, oh, but uh, you, you got to put the chits. I wouldn't turn those chits that way, <laughs> you know? Do I understand what you're saying? I do. I truly do, baby. I truly do. But I want you to know this. When I was a kid growing up, even me planting potatoes, and I planted a lot of potatoes, right? We didn't have YouTube, we didn't have all this stuff, but I knew how to plant it because I saw my grandmama plant it. I saw my, my father plant it. I saw my neighbors plant it. And what they did, they took a potato, they put it in the soil and they covered it up. They didn't try to find the eyes. They didn't find, try to find, is it, is it chitin? <laughs> they didn't try to find that. Now, am I saying what you are saying is wrong? I am not. But what I am saying is, I don't do that. What I do is, I take a potato and I put her in the soil and I cover her up and I give her some water. That's what I do. Now, one another thing I have said here on my channel many times, I want you all to know this. I love each and every one of you all. I appreciate your comments. I do. I appreciate your comments and I look forward to see what you think and what you, you know, what you feel about what you saw. But I want you to know, Miss Linda is not a teacher of gardening. I am not. And I want you all to know, I am not teaching you all anything. I am not the teacher here. I'm not. I'm not. There are many, many teaching channels out here. Many of them, they teach you how to do things. That is not what I do here. No, that is not what I do. I am not the teacher, but what I am doing. This is what my channel to me and what, what I want it to be uh, when you think of Tino, right? Is that I am sharing with you what I'm doing here in my garden. That's what I'm doing. I'm sharing with you how I do things. No, I may not do things like the other person do. But it doesn't mean that the other person is wrong and I'm right. And it doesn't mean that I'm wrong and they're right. 
this is gardening and gardening baby there is more ways than you can blink a stick at of how to plant a potato but for me I just put that thing in the dirt and cover it up and give it water. That's what I do. Now, you are welcome. And I will encourage you to come back. Check me out. See if these potatoes going to come up. See if I'm going to get a harvest. And see if maybe Miss Linda, you know, her method, it ain't all that bad. Because... Miss Linda go eat some potatoes, <laughs> you know. So I want you to know there's more than one way of doing things. And now, you know, just be, you know, just because this person say, you know, you got to, the chitin got to be right and you got to pluck this over and you got to, that's their way. That's their way. And everybody got their own thing of what they do. All right. In gardening, there's so many ways, but this is what I know. You see, and this is what I know for sure from experience is that if you take a seed or if you take a potato, let's talk about those potatoes. If you take a potato and you put her in soil, now you, you listen, you don't even need to give it this uh, blood meal, bone mist like salt and pepper, right? Cool, <laughs> right, really. But you don't even need to do all that. Just some soil, dirt, and water. I guarantee you, with every breath of me, they will grow. Nature have a way of doing what she do. I, I just want you to use your, just your mind and your imagination. Do you really think that in the wild, what we are doing, what we are doing is nature. It's nature. And when you find yourself doing what nature does, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. So when I was growing up, I didn't know anything about all that chitting and all of that other stuff. All I knew is to get me a potato, plant that thing. That's it. <laughs> but I wanted to address that to, to you all. And listen, find out what wild vegetables grow in your area. Yeah. Think about it. You know, when you think about these things, think about that. What grows wild and what make it grow? What make it grow? So, but anyway, guys, listen, I want to thank you all so much. Listen, I really appreciate you all. I just want you all to know where I was coming from with this thing, right? I see, I see you all are concerned that maybe Miss Linda will not get no potatoes, right? No worries, guys. No worries. No worries. I will have you all right there. I will bring that camera right there. And I will share. Good, bad, or ugly, I'm going to share. <laughs> all right. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. It's Friday. Mm. <laughs> all right, guys. You all have a great day. I love you all. Lady, y'all. Mm -hmm.